What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Review 4 Season 2 of Bane and Abyss. Uh, this is episode 7, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and with me, as always, I have Blue Spade. Yeah, so we're finally getting um, uh, Vico's story, which I think it picks up, like, um, I think back to that brief flashback from episode... I can't remember if it was either. Yeah, second it, it, was, uh, it was... Uh, I, I think it was... Uh, it might have been the third episode. If yeah. I'm not too sure. So... Yeah, so we we, we begin like uh, right after like uh, that flashback in which uh, Vuiko and the expedition team um, uh, go go finally uh, reach the what was it the sixth layer, and then they find out that they can't return to this to their surface, so they're pretty pretty much more or less stuck stuck down there. So also, uh, did did I miss something, or did they kind of try to uh, use some? some people to experiment with that like because uh, they they sent they sent it back up they said like they waited a few hours and then like when it came back down uh there were there were those uh the um things that have been affected by the curse yeah uh, and like i'm wondering if they sent people up there in that elevator uh and then the people who were affected by the curse and they came back down as those uh it's kind of like what happened to uh, yeah. Midian in season one yeah that's pretty much the case and of course they they it's the reason why uh, there's no way they can uh, safely return back to the surface, even with the elevator going up and down. So mm -hmm. they they pr they pretty much go go around the entire entire area looking for a water source as a means to survive. And then, of course, they go around hunting different uh, creek native creatures uh, down on the sixth layer. And uh, during that time, um, Vico meets uh, this uh, this young tribe girl named. Ir Iramui, I think that's. Her well, name. remember, it's the same girl that it, she's the she's been with them. Yeah, uh, yeah, since, so. yeah, yeah. So, okay, so, uh, so we learn more about Iramui, uh, saying that she was deemed a curse uh, by her family uh, because she's she's infertile, uh, mm. le leading. I guess it's the reason why she was uh, exiled from her village. Um, yeah. So, so over over time, um, you know, we, we see Vaco and Iramui uh, uh, establish establishing their relationship even even further. Uh, but over time, uh, we see um, not just Iramui, but a lot of the other members of the expedition team getting like severely sick from uh, drinking the water down there, and like it's just it's just really disgusting. It's uh, they we see them. <laughs> uh yeah so like they're just like you know well, having di cases of diarrhea and then you know it's just yeah you know, it's yeah basically and well I, I think one of the first ones to be affected actually was Aramui and uh Voico learns because of uh like I guess you take her excretions that uh like it was it, it was due to the water they've been drinking because of uh what was what you know what what she found in there mm -hmm. um and apparently they find that out that the water was part of some kind of a living organism or something uh and even though they boiled the water uh it's still after they drank it it's still like uh, you know uh basically made them very sick uh and not only that but apparently as we learn later through the episode that it's also mutating all of their bodies and turning them into these like deformed creatures basically yeah Sa same thing that's happening with Ir Irumui and I think um, you know while, while 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 they're looking around uh, they find like this small egg like object um, during their expedition mm -hmm. and I think like uh, Vico takes possession of it and I think she merges it that egg with um well with they, well first they ask about what the egg is uh they ask the interceptor units or whatever they're called yeah uh, the robots mm -hmm. and they basically explain that it's uh uh it, it's it's this artifact it's like a wish granting egg and you shouldn't directly touch it but apparently it's i uh, you know like i guess they the you know say it's uh the purpose of it is to grant uh wishes but you know i mean it doesn't really seem that way, but yeah, I mean that's that's apparently what it's what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, like you said, uh, Fuego ends up uh, trying to, I guess, in a, in, a, in an effort to try to save Iram Yui from her sickness, she tries to merge it with with her. Um, 
And at least for um for a time, it seems like that might have worked because Irem Yui is is walking around again, and it seems like she's not she you know even though her body has is still like mutating, like she's not feeling any pain or anything like that. Uh, although her body continues to horribly mutate, and she just uh, uh yeah she I guess to mute to mutate so much that she, uh she just becomes less and less human in a way, like she just uh becomes this like thing that can uh and i think it was like right where uh Vueco implanted the egg within her she starts giving birth to these like creatures but uh every time she does like the creatures end up dying uh so yeah it, it's uh it's pretty messed up like i mean of uh, uh and and also uh Vueco herself start becomes you know starts to become sick uh, along with everybody else, I, I think, I think Wazukian, like I think Wazukian was also sick, but he's, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it didn't affect him as much because he's still walking around. Yeah. Um. So, so I mean, it, it keeps getting even more messed up with Iramui continuing to give birth to these things, and of course, it just you know she just starts losing her mind. Uh, over time, the more she keeps doing it, mm -hmm. and uh, eventually, like um, like you said, Vaco um, starts to coming to uh, to that that similar illness, and then all of a sudden, uh, Wakuzan feeds her like I, I guess this uh, this broth that somehow heals her, and then you know she she eventually starts you know fully recovering from her illness illnesses. Same uh, same thing I can assume with well, uh, everyone else. Earlier, yeah, earlier in the episode, Wazukan told Waco that Iramui would be their salvation. Uh, and of course, like, uh, Waco mentioned after she recovered that uh, I think she mentioned that everybody else did as well. And she believes it was, I guess, due to possibly due to Iramui. Yeah, but we, when we find out later, it's just, uh, uh, well, it's, I don't think it's important like really stated i think if waco realizes that uh she is just eating iramui's dead like dead children that she's been birthing yeah it i i didn't i actually didn't really pick up on that but now that you mentioned it it would make sense that that was the case um because it, and it would also line up with what Wazukian said about her being their salvation. Yeah, uh, I mean, Wazukian was was feeding something to you know to Voiko, and it's, it's yeah. like I'm just wondering like where where the hell did he get something like that? And it's just mm -hmm. when he when he he mentions that you know that it it was like Iremui who's the one who gave gave them salvation. That it leads me yeah. to believe that he's used the you know the dead bodies of like of the you know of the children that she continuously birth and then just use and then just basically cooked and fed fed them to everyone else which is i don't know it's just like kind of kind of messed up in numerous mm -hmm. sort of ways but yeah uh but i mean that would make sense because they they really had no resources they had no food they had i mean they they continued to drink this water which was you know uh as as we know was not safe but uh yeah, I, th I think that's the only that that's the only place he could have gotten the food or could have created the food was through those uh, dead, uh, you know, those dead creatures. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I, I mean, he he would, you know, of course, he really need to give like some justification as to why he did that. But mm -hmm. it's just yeah, kind of devil's advocate. But I think it's, I mean, you're right. It's like they, they're in this, you know, in a re real no win situation. Based on all the you yeah. know all the resources, lack of resources they had at the time, but it's just like it's it's weird because it's like in a yeah in a messed up way like yeah the uh, the the you know those dead things that uh, she gave birth to ended up you know I, I guess potentially saving them, um, and I, I I suppose in a way the wish granting artifact did I guess grant their wish of potentially being saved, but it didn't. If you think about it, it it's it's like it it's like it didn't really do anything good for Rira Mui herself, more so just for Voiko and the rest of her expedition, um, by I guess potentially saving them from this uh from this curse or whatever was afflicting them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it seems like it's almost 
like, I guess in a way, I kind of think of it as like a sort of equivalent exchange thing. It's like, you know, something has to be sacrificed for something else. Um, maybe that's how it works. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's still kind of messed up in a way because you're you're just you're just causing Irimu, you know, a lot more grief than she already is right now. <laughs> just just to, yeah. based on what's happening, I, I, assuming that, you know, Wakiza didn't really even tell her what has happened i mean if he if he did then mm -hmm. it would only make the situation situation even even worse unless v Vuiko, you know i don't know takes the step even further of telling her herself but i don't even know if that she even should yeah i will say um you know, without spoiling too much things are going to continue to get worse for iramui i'll just say that but uh yeah it, it, you can't help but feel bad for her because like she's having to go through all this and and of course because waco didn't know that this would happen to her she just kind of did this i think as like a last you know like a last resort because she had no other way of saving her mm -hmm. um and she thought it would save her but of course it just ended up causing her, her more pain and misery yeah um, so i mean we'll have to find out in the next episode assuming if uh if, you know if uh waco's backstory continues after shortly after this uh, I well, I will. It will, um, mm -hmm. mostly because it, it does directly relate to uh, a, a certain character in the present time. So, well, I mean, not only just Voiko, but uh, another character. But yeah, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about the episode. Uh, I kind of, I, I mean, I knew where things are gonna go from this point because I do remember quite a few, quite a bit of what happens in the flashback sequence in the manga. Um, but yeah, I, I know there's still a little bit more to tell. And of course, with the way the episode left off, uh, yeah, there's still a little bit more that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if you have anything else to say about the episode. It was, I mean, it was, um, it was an interesting, but also a disturbing episode at the same time, just ha having to endure yeah. everyone else suffering, you know, just trying to survive of sorts, but then in, in just the manner of like how, you know, how everyone has to go through it. it it just you know it just makes it even you know more uncomfortable just having to continuously watch this every single time it's just like this show yeah. really knows how, how to really you know tug on your strings like a lot e even ever since the you know the first season was you know was bad but then uh, it just continues to get even more disturbing the first you know the more you watch this show yeah, I mean, I, I kind of go in with the mindset that there's really no place that the series won't go. Like, I mean, it doesn't really shy away from anything. It'll, it'll, uh, uh, it, it pretty much will show anything. It, it doesn't, it doesn't hold back, you know, regardless of, you know, it, it really just doesn't hold back and, and at all. So, I mean, I, I, I just, I guess I'm kind of desensitized to it because I already know what's, uh, what to expect usually whenever I read or watch Made in Abyss. Uh, but it, it's it does kind of I will say it does kind of lose that initial effect after you start you know experiencing more of it you kind of already know uh, if you just expect the worst a lot of the time you won't really be surprised at some places where the series goes I guess um, initially when you watch or read it like and you I guess you don't know much about the series you probably will be kind of shocked because you uh, you know mostly because of the art style like it's kind of one of those series where. You, in a way, it's kind of a little bit like, you know, something like Madoka Magica, where you go in expecting one thing and it ends up being something else. So uh, but then after that initial shock, it's not really to I mean, I mean, yeah, it does get a little bit, you know, it gets more disturbing. So you, you do get you still do get shocked by some of the things it does, but it's definitely a lot. The effect is a lot, a lot lessened because uh, you already know at that point, like what this series is. Mm -hmm. uh, and what it's going to do. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess after, you know, after the initial shock of like realizing, oh, this is that kind of a series. And then, you know, after that, it's like, OK, well, I guess I didn't should be too surprised to, to decide to go there. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I thought this is definitely one of the better episodes so far in terms of uh, just kind of developing certain characters. But it also just is a. Uh, pretty typical of Made in Abyss and in a lot of ways and that it's just uh, it, it's it really just does not shy away from anything gross or disturbing and uh, I mean even though I know where it's that that's going to happen I still can't help but kind of cringe at certain scenes uh, like you know the scenes where all, all the entire expedition just ends up uh, having that you know diarrhea and getting sick and all that <laughs> uh, I mean 
uh, yeah, they just they just show all of that. So, um, but yeah, uh, I don't really have too much else to say about it. But um, yeah, guys, uh, that, that being said, uh, until next week, uh, we will see you all next time.